And so I thought today I would try something different like this style that makes me feel like Scary Spice from the Spice Girls. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to do a little Q&A um, just answering a lot of you guys questions that I've been receiving since I colored my locks honey blonde. Yes, if you do not know, I just recently colored my locks honey blonde by using the dark and lovely hair dye on my locks i've been locked for three years now and they are medium length so i decided that i wanted to just get out of my rut and go ahead and do something completely different so if you want to know a little backstory about why i colored my locks you can go ahead and check out this video up above i will list it in the description box down below if you want to check it out later but Long story short, I was becoming a little bored with my locks and so I just wanted to freshen my look up, do something completely different and just do something that would make me feel great about myself. And so for me, that was coloring my locks, something I really wanted to do for a very long time. And I also bring you guys along with me as I colored my locks the whole entire experience. So if you want to check that out, I do have that in the description box and up above as well. So yeah, you guys have been asking me different questions. The light is like fluctuating, so please don't mind the differences in lighting. You will get to see the color in its truest form as the light goes in and out so i guess that's a great thing but um and i hope you like my scary spice look you know what i'm saying i'm trying to channel the the 90s today um but anyway you guys have been asking me so many questions about my hair color and how it's going this far so i thought i would just gather up a lot of you guys questions in my little notepad and answer them here right now so if you want to color your locks honey blonde or any color at all, this is a great resource, a great video for you. Um, you can use it as a tool to encourage yourself into perhaps coloring your locks. Um, I'll, I'll share my entire experience and you can take it for what it is. Um, so many of you guys have been saying that you want to color your locks but you just don't know how and what color. So I'm here to say don't be afraid to do it. Um, of course, you want to be careful of your hair health before you color your locks. But if it's something that you want to do, I, I don't know. For me, it really gave me an uplift in the way that I, the, in my appearance this far. So yeah, let's just get on to the whole entire experience. Um, I have it all written down. I'm going to answer your questions as best as I could. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the experience of coloring my locks for the very first time. Guys, I've never colored my hair at all by myself. My mom has always colored my hair. I've never touched color and put it on my hair. I was always a little afraid that I would do it the wrong way. But what really gave me confidence was looking at a few YouTube videos of other women on this platform that colored their natural hair and their locks different colors. I began to familiarize myself with the process. And I began to realize, wait a minute, this isn't so scary after all. Now listen, if you don't know much about hair color and, and doing hair, period, it is great to outsource a hairstylist to do this for you. So I'm not completely crushing hairstylists because they do their work very, very well. But for me, I just wanted to do it myself. Save, save some coins. Um, I was gonna have my mom do it, but she wasn't, you know, available to do it. So I just decided, you know what? Let me just try something different. You know, let me do it myself. So um, after watching videos and familiarizing myself with the process, I began to really get more excited to do it myself. And so that's when I went to my local Walmart, and at first I purchased the lights the light blonde color in the dark and lovely um, hair color brands. 
Woo, you can see. You can just see a little bit of the color, but I'll get into that. Um, I, I purchased the lighter blondes, but then something just didn't sit right with me with that choice. So I had my husband go exchange it for the honey blonde. And thankfully, you know, we got the honey blonde and that was something that I was more... You know, I wanted to kind of inch my way into this, not really do something dramatic just yet, you know, but um, inch into blondes little by little. So um, the process was very easy. The instructions that are included in the hair dye kit make it really easy for anyone to do it at home. All you got to do is mix up the products together, um, wear a t-shirt that you don't care to get messed up. My, my t-shirt didn't get messed up. Thankfully, my process wasn't so messy. And um, I also used gloves. I realized, though, that when you use like a shower cap or like that plastic hair net thingy that I had, um, when you cover your, your hair while it is in the process of kind of baking, the, the color is baking, I realized that um, the heat that is trapped inside of that particular environment that you created really helps the color to um, really take form in your hair. Um, so that's why I, colored, I covered my hair um, as my hair color was baking because I wanted my hair to get the best out of the hair dye. Now, so, so many of you guys have been saying, hey, hair dye is not going to cut it. It's not going to lighten up your hair the way that you want. If you want lighter hair, you're gonna have to bleach it, blah, blah, blah. Me, personally, I didn't wanna bleach my hair. I wanted to use the, the hair dye because I'm not familiar with bleaching my hair, and bleaching just sounds so dramatic. Like, you know, just taking my, my ash brown locks and bleaching it and then putting color on it, it just didn't sit right with me so I went with my piece with this and I'm very happy that I did because I, I lightened my hair but I didn't go dramatic right away not to say that I won't go dramatic because I truly want to lighten my hair again <laughs> but we'll get into that as well so um, the process was easy rinsing out the hair color I made sure okay because I heard other people mention that um, they didn't completely rinse the hair dye out their hair and that caused damage. That was something I was not willing to go through for myself. So when I rinsed the hair dye out, I made sure to, look, I didn't even bother with the shower head because the shower head, I realized, it just gives me little sprinkles and it's not completely rinsing the products out. Um, so what I did was I simply put my head under the actual, um, the, the faucet thingy, the, the, the tub faucet, um, instead of the shower head, I used the tub faucet and I just went in and made sure to take my time and squeeze the products out my locks, squeeze it out, drench my hair, squeeze it from root to tip. Listen, I made sure to squeeze from the roots to the tip and I made sure to be very gentle the whole process through because the last thing that I want to do is um, you know cause damage on top of already coloring my locks you know what I'm saying so I made sure to squeeze the product out squeeze the product out um, in a previous video I mentioned that one mistake that I made since being locked was not squeezing the product out as I'm rinsing it and that led to build up which stayed trapped in my locks because I wasn't squeezing the product out <laughs> um, and so I made sure to do that and really implement better strategies with this particular hair color and then after that I washed my hair with my aloe vera shampoo and um, yeah so the process was really easy um, now for me okay so because I didn't get every single part of my my hair um, some of my locks were still a little too too similar to my original color um, that would have been a great opportunity to have someone else help me to get that color in but when you use hair dye on top of your virgin hair color it's not going to completely lighten it if it doesn't have bleach and the great thing about the dark and lovely hair dye that i tried out it didn't have bleach so it gave me 
a lighten but it didn't completely bleach my hair and strip it dry and, and you know um i didn't use the conditioner because i don't want to go back to the same build up issues that i had before and so but that's not to say that i won't try it again but right now i'm trying to stay away from certain things before i actually do try it again so I didn't use any of the shampoo, uh, the conditioner. I have like three of those long conditioners that came with the box dye and they're like still underneath the sink. Okay, so adjusting to the new color. So if you guys can see my hair right now, you probably can't really tell because I am indoors. Um, but you can tell as the sun kind of comes in a little bit more, but you can truly see the, the, the true impact of what the color looks like when I step outside. Um, and outside you can truly see my hair in its essence. And it looks more like a ginger color, a, an auburn color, which is what I was originally going to do before I de then decided to go with blonde. Um, I had you guys come along the journey as I tried to figure out which hair to dye to do on my lock. So if you didn't check out that video, I will have it up as well. Um, but yeah, it's just funny. Like I wanted to dye my hair blonde, but instead what I ended up with were like ginger, um, ginger colored locks that are pretty much all burned. Um, that's not to say I don't love them. I love this hair color. But um, it is an adjustment, okay, because I did, you know, color the edges, sis. I colored the edges, and that is always something that you have to adjust to. Um, at first, I was thinking, okay, should I just color the length of my locks and leave the roots? But no, I want to do the whole entire color. So that's why I did from the root to the tip did everything and it is an adjustment because I have to get used to seeing myself um, like this <laughs> with a light brown color um, every time I look in the mirror I have to adjust to it so it is an adjustment but it's not to say that I don't love the hair color it's just something that I have to get used to um, but I realized that when I put my makeup on and I get my you know look together it it looks awesome okay um, yeah, but it's an adjustment like anything else. I love it, okay? It did not give me the Honey Blonde color, but I love it still. One of you guys were saying, is it just me or am I seeing like a light brown in, um, like I'm seeing more of a light brown than a blonde. It's not just you, sis. It is a light brown for the fact that my hair was a darker shade and it lifted the color so it didn't go completely honey blonde but it did lift my hair color i do want honey blonde color so my plans moving forward is to lift the color even more gradually so in a few more weeks I will um, go ahead and apply a, another color on top of my locks that will lift the color. I will not do it from root to tip this time. I will leave the roots because I do eventually want to have an ombre um, color. I want like an ombre kind of effect. So I'm going to leave the roots alone, but I want the length of my locks to be a honey color. So. I will be purchasing another hair dye and doing a second second application. Of course, you guys are coming with me, okay? Now that we know how to do these things, we're gonna do it together. And I'm really excited about that. But for now, I'm just, you know, minding my hair health. And that's another thing that you guys wanted to know. Do I have a new routine now that I have a new hair color? And the, the, the answer, the answer is yes. Yes, because I knew going into this particular place where I colored my locks and lifted the hair color up, I knew that the moisture would be, um, w my hair would need moisture even more. So um, because of that, I made my own rose water concoction um, and I also used 
oils, but I don't use it a whole lot. What I do is I put oil in my hand and I mix it up and then just scrunch it along the length of my locks and I make sure to get the ends because the ends are very important. So I scrunch it in my hair and that's actually what I did after I washed my hair. I skipped the conditioner and just went in with the, um, the oils along the length of my locks. And I'm only going to apply oils to the length of my locks once a week. I don't really feel the need to go in every day or every other day to put oils on my locks um, because I know that my locks are more of a low porosity hair type. Um, whatever I put on top of my locks have the I, I run the risk of getting build up because my hair is not completely accepting moisture um, unless I like move it into my hair so yeah but what I do do is mist my hair with rose water at least twice a week um, I try to do that and I really do see that my hair is not as dry as before when I didn't color my hair. My hair is actually even more moisturized than it was before I colored my locks. So I'm really happy about that and I'm going to really try my best to implement strategies that really contribute to more moisture in my hair, keeping that moisture um, and not losing the moisture. So that means misting my hair twice a day with my rose water and um, and applying oils every week uh, but yeah other than that it's cool what I did do was give my ends another trim after coloring my, coloring my locks um, I wanted to make sure that my ends were completely healthy and that there was no breakage um, there was in certain in certain parts of my hair there was like little weak spots so I just took my scissors and clipped them right off there's no point in holding on to weak locks or weak spots in my locks for me, I'd rather get rid of them now than to see them gradually get weaker and weaker. And I realize now that my styles are a whole lot more exciting to do because I've got this new hair color. So I love playing around with my locks. And so I thought today I would try something different like this style that makes me feel like Scary Spice from the Spice Girls. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so much fun and I do have plans on using lock jewelry and more hair accessories to really zhuzh up my look even more especially now that we get into the summertime okay because the summertime is about to be popping okay okay it's gonna be popping anyways y'all had enough of me talking right <laughs> thank you guys for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video um, yes, if you have any more questions for me, let me know down below and I would love to answer them straight to you. Um, and also let me know what you think about the new color. What you think? What you think? And what color do you have um, in your locks right now? Whether they are your original color or you color them lighter or darker, what have you. Share your hair color down below. We would love to know just to know okay and i want to also remind you that the spring 2020 nazi curl club boxes are getting ready to get shipped in just a week so if you are a part of the nazi curl club which is a quarterly subscription box for women with locks hair care treats organic hair care treats um lifestyle and self-care treats to pamper you like the queen that you are you get them straight to your door every quarter of the year um so if you're interested in joining the club i will leave a link down below so that you can go ahead and check it out for yourself become a part of the club and get quarterly treats straight to your door free shipping okay like free shipping all the time six to seven full-size products from black owned businesses and just the businesses that we know and trust very much i've collaborated with so many people that you know and some that you don't know just to give you the very best and greatest and so yeah these spring boxes are going to be filled to the brim so you are definitely getting your money's worth with each and every box but yeah, I hope that you're getting ready and set for that. And um, for those of you that are not yet on the list or on the t on the in the club, you do have a chance of becoming a part of the club. What we have right now is a giveaway for each new subscriber. Um, you will receive a new 
well, a free piece by Twigged Out 25, um, which is a brand that creates beautiful jewelry pieces with materials found in nature. This is a black owned woman, a black owned business, a woman entrepreneur that I'm very familiar with, and she creates beauty. It's excellent, okay? Let's. It was excellent. So you definitely don't want to miss out on this box. Um, yeah, check out the link down below if you want to become a part of the Nazi Curl Club. And if you are a natural hair girl, loose natural hair girl, we got you too. You can be a part of it as well, whether you are a natural hair girl, loose natural hair girl, locks girl, whatever. You've got something that we will be offering. And the box theme of this month the box theme for this season is self-care so you will get all that you need in order to have a spa a, a, a spa a spa day for yourself um, and just pamper yourself and rejuvenate and get ready for another hot girl summer you know what I'm saying so anyway you guys have been watching me for a long enough I hope that you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more I will be uploading many more treats for you so subscribe and join the team join the pro <laughs> thank you guys for watching I love you and I will see you in the next video later guys bye